and welcome to I thought I just spilled my tea. <laughs> it's very full. I did fill it very full. But I did remember her milk this time. Yay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, hello and welcome to podcast episode four. It has been nearly two months since we filmed the last episode, which... It was supposed to be every two weeks, but no. Yeah, that's what I was about appear. to say. Yeah. But yeah, here we are. But after Christmas, we will be back every two weeks. But I was thinking that maybe we won't always... Like, there will always be a video with mum every two weeks, but it won't always be sat down. I was thinking we could, like, do something in the video. Like, I might do mum's makeup, or she might do my makeup. Mm, that'd be nice. Or we could do, like, baking or something. Um, and then some videos we can sit and chat. So it could just be, like, every two weeks we do something. She needs me. She needs me. Or or not. She needs me. We're going to have a podcast with dad instead. Oh, okay. What would you talk about with dad, do you think? What would he... What... What would he talk about? Engineering. Um, how to save money. Um, oh yeah, he'll save yeah, money. Actually, yeah. he's very, he's very, um, he's very canny when it comes to uh, what to do with money, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. He's a bit of a Martin Lewis, but without the confidence. No. <clears throat> mm. yeah. you, do you know who Martin Lewis is? Um, he's that financial man on the TV. Yeah, that does like I a live programme and he's like yeah. blah, 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 and he just knows his stuff. Very mm. impressive, but yeah. yeah. I um, thought that in this episode we would answer some Christmas themed questions just that I've got off the internet just so that we have like a theme to follow because obviously we've got the Christmas it's tree. Christmas. Time. By the way, I've got no makeup on because I've been at work all day today with my makeup on and I just did not feel like wearing it any longer. Whereas I'm in my pyjamas, full face of makeup, and I went and put some lip gloss on <laughs> <laughs> before filming. <laughs> I need help. I'm I'm 47. <laughs> in our last episode, I got a question. Oh, cool. Um, Nicole Schroeder said, if I remember correctly, you have matching tattoos, right? Mm. Who had the idea and is there a story behind it? Well, I guess so. It was, I got mine first. Um, oh God, shall I show? Um, if you'd like <laughs> to. Uh, Ten hours later. Uh, oh dear, hang what on. What is going on? Hang on, and I will not take my, can we see that little guy? Yeah, yeah we can, there he is, my little hippo. Um, and mine is on my wrist here if you can see that yeah i just did uh, georgie and tommy just called me hippo um i think tommy started it just to try and be an insulting uh yeah we wouldn't call me mom or mom he called me hippo so <laughs> it mom sounds thought, awful, i'm gonna it? get a tattoo i'm gonna get a, a tattoo but then it just like became a term of endearment and it was just it was just nice so, hippo yeah but he didn't say it like hippo he said hippo like a french person would hippo hippo without the h Ipo poo. He used to call me <laughs> Ipo poo. <laughs> Haven't got a tattoo of a poo on there. Maybe I should get one of him dumping or something. Mum, let's stop right there. <laughs> yeah, that's my sense will. of humour. Yeah, I won't. I won't. She will. Because then that would mean you'd have to have the same no. one on your hand, wouldn't it? I did a, a little order at Boots. I didn't know whether to make a whole haul. Of these. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. It is. Yeah. It is. I might do a, a whole haul because I didn't know whether to wrap it up and open it on Christmas or whether to use it before Christmas. I still don't know. You were given a gift card, weren't you, for boots? Yeah. Oh, well, no, actually, work. for wherever. For you wherever. £50 pound gift card. Um, I'm not kidding you. She had it spent within 20 minutes of coming in the door. That's <laughs> unbelievable. Literally. Yeah. Um, 11 items for 50 quid. I just... Not bad. Oh, you got a hair dye in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, righto. I'm going to use that definitely before Christmas. Um, this is the hair dye. Yeah, I've got, um, just digressing, I've got Emily's blue hair dye still upstairs, like semi-permanent. Oh, yeah. I would not dye my hair permanently anything but the colour it is now because I really like the grey. Um, but yeah, I thought I, I'm going to just do like a little... Little, little... You're going to do it at the front where everyone little, can see it. Tiny little streak of blue. But I thought, now's the time oh, to do it. Oh, you could do that in your next episode. Could do, but I was... Because I'm off work for nearly two weeks for Christmas, so that's a good time to do it. So that if it looks awful, it can get washed out, can't it? But yeah, it, I wouldn't... Yeah. I'm just curious. I think a little blue streak, one there and maybe one. Like this I'll video do. if you want to see mum with blue hair. <laughs> blue rinse. I feel like you're hanging off the camera, so... Oh, sorry. No, I can move the camera. Oh, oh no, you're no, back, you're back. 
Yeah, well, let's just start doing that. I wasn't really hanging off the camera. I'm just, just lazy. I'm just feeling. I'm just going from work. Excuse me, lazy. You're the one that wants to film. Well, you're the one who said, "Shall we film tonight?" And I'm like, "Well, yeah." I do like doing these, to be honest, because I'm a talker. I am tired, but no, she's still talking. Yeah, so I might film a separate haul video on the weekend, and this might be up next week, mm. um, because I did get quite a lot of makeup stuff. Um, I'll show Mum separately. But yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. you're gonna have to win. She was in a purchasing frenzy. I was in a purchasing mood. Yeah. All oh, products. I think, oh my god. Yeah. You don't need things any I need. More. No, I no. It's things like foundation and concealer where I've like run out of them. My beauty. But well, I'm not gonna tell you because you need to watch the video. Mm. But in my opinion, you need new trainers, things like that. Sorry, did we actually answer the question of the hippo tattoo? Yeah, we did. It's oh, like you, yeah. you and Tommy used to call me hippo. Oh, it sorry. became a term of endearment, and, and it's. it's it, uh, I think yeah. it. Did they ask when did you get it? Although people look at it now and say, "Oh, is that a moomin?" Um, if anybody, oh. do you know what a moomin is? Because that used to be something no. I used to watch when I was little. Yeah, moomins. It does look very similar, to be fair, but no, it's hippo. Right, there is um, to make this video more Christmas themed. Some Christmas questions. Um, so it says number one. I'm just going to do the best questions that I can find, sort of like that we can just chat about. How do you celebrate Christmas? Sorry, what does that actually mean? Well, we're not religious. Oh yeah, we're not religious. I thought it meant like, what do you do on Christmas Day? But I don't think that's what it means. Uh, we, we, it's just a nice time to take a pause out of life, isn't it? And just get together with your family and... It's just going to be us four. On Christmas Day, it's just the four of us, which is nice. Which is me, mum, my dad, and my brother. If you was wondering. Yeah, yeah, we t we, yeah, we quite like it. We we don't do that religiously every year, do we? We we're, we're shaking it up like Nana Pat's hosted Shake one year, up. and that was really good. We got that game where we put those uh, plastic things. Yeah, I didn't like that. I didn't play. Didn't you? It's gross. Oh, I thought I was a right laugh, but anyway, that was ages. That was about four years ago. Mm. So Nana Pat hosted a couple of years. There was generally in another year. Um, I've done it another year. Well, no, just four of us this year, but then everybody's around on Boxing Day, aren't they? Yeah. But basically, I celebrate Christmas by cracking open the wine. Shocker. <laughs> yep, boy. What's your most memorable Christmas memory? Okay, Shall I... you go. Um, I don't know about most memorable, but like best memories, probably. Um... <laughs> Ooh, she's gonna have to <laughs> dig deep into the vaults of her memory. I know when I was like a lot younger, like ten or eleven, I used to like like everyone coming around on Christmas Day and like showing everyone my presents. Mm. Um, I also used to really like Christmas Eve, but yes. I don't think there's a specific memory. Um, but Christmas Eves are usually quite good. Yeah, you like the routine of Christmas Eve. This is the first year that I can remember in in the life of Georgie and Tommy where we're not able to have an open fire. <laughs> we love having an open fire. <laughs> so, bugger. So I'm just yeah. gonna have to put it on my laptop. Our fireplaces at the new place are just all. They've got these crappy old. God, I hope Joan doesn't watch. It. Unlikely, but yeah. Crappy. <laughs> <laughs> she was just wondering if the previous owner of this property was going to be watching. Well, she is related to us, so that's, uh, yeah, she's in her 80s, so it's unlikely she's going to be watching Georgie's YouTube channel, because she doesn't really know you at all. But anyway, just slightly off her fires, but yeah, crappy old things, but anyway. My least favourite Christmas was not last Christmas, but I think the year before. I can't really remember why, but it does just happen to be my least favourite Christmas. Mm. Um, but there's not a particular reason why. It was just a bit lacklustre. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, what is your favourite Christmas movie? The Holiday. I love that. It used to be Love Actually. I think I've watched that too many times. That's exactly it. And it's a massive cheese fest. No, I mean I've watched The Holiday too many times. Oh, I thought you meant Love Actually. No. Oh God, I love The Holiday. I want to watch The Grinch. I've never watched The Grinch before. I want to watch it, the one that's got Jim Carrey in it. I want to watch it this year. Oh, okay. We should be able to get that on Netflix. No, before. it's not on Netflix. Oh, it's on Amazon oh. Prime, but it's £4.99. That's a commitment. It is a commitment. Mm. I, I watched Last Christmas last night, and that came out two years ago. That's got Amelia Clark in it. And when I came out of cinema two years ago, I thought, well, that was a bit, a bit lame, a bit non-eventful. But I watched it last night, and I thought... Oh, actually, it was just really quite good. Quite a sweet story. No, quite poignant. 
Yes, a lot better on the second viewing. So. Yes, boys. I think your dad quite likes Amelia Clark as well. She's a bit cute. Yeah. Do you have any Christmas Eve traditions? Um, like Mum said, we used to have a fire. Unfortunately, we can't do that anymore. We also used to go out to like a cafe and get some food. I don't think we're going to do that this time. Why not? Well, where Why would not? we go? We live in the middle of nowhere. Well, there's cafes in Caister. There? There's about three or four cafes in Caister. All right, well, we'll see. Oh, the weather spoons up the road. Ten miles away. We always get a pudding. Because we always go out and it used to be historically get a mince pie and a hot beverage at the Cloisters. Um, at the Lincoln Cathedral, there's a cafe, or used to be a cafe at Lincoln Cathedral, and you could sit in the cloister area, and it was just mm. beautiful. And then they stopped opening on Christmas Eve. But anyway, we kept a tradition going, going to a cafe and having something sweet and a nice hot brew. And we've started doing this thing where we'll have a camembert and we'll dip bread into the camembert oh, and eat God, it. It's delicious. I've only got a small one this year, so I don't make a little piglet of myself. Plus, Tommy doesn't really like that sort of thing. Well, you, Georgie always wants to watch Scrooge as well on Christmas Eve. Which Scrooge do you want to watch? Cause no, I was thinking that actually we could watch um, just like Vicar of Dibley's. Mm. Oh yeah, that feels quite Christmas Eve, yeah. isn't it? Their Christmas episode's really good. Mm. Yeah, where she eats all the Christmas dinners. Yeah, boy. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. We can watch Scrooge at some point during the next week, though. Mm. I like the black and white one from 1970. It says here, sorry, finish this elf quote. So I'll read it out and you have to finish it. Oh, the best way to spread Christmas cheer is. Sing it loud for all to hear. Yeah. Oh, yes. We're filming. Yeah. Okay. Dad's here. You okay? Yeah. yeah. What is your all time favorite Christmas food? I know. Oh, yeah, stuffing. I like stuffing. I think pigs in blankets with cranberry sauce. I think all of it. Oh. The thing I'm least bothered about is the turkey. Really? Yeah. I guess, I, plus I don't really eat that much meat anyway, only occasionally, but on Christmas day I'll make an exception. I think with the turkey it's about the leftovers, isn't it? Mixing it with said stuffing yeah. and cranberry and having it in thick ass sandwiches. Sick, so, yeah. Damn boy, he's thick! That's a thick ass... <laughs> Damn boy, he's thick! That's a thick amp! <laughs> Please take that out. That's just embarrassing. <laughs> That's coming from me. Uh, <laughs> She's a massive gobshite, aren't you, Jewel Johnny? I say it at work all the time. With that much passion as well. Um, What's that noise? It says here, is your Christmas tree real or fake? Real, without a doubt. We'll never ever get a Christmas tree that's not real. It just goes against what we do. <laughs> that's not real. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, we can't pass this on to a Christmas tree. Nobody, it's a special breed. Nobody light a cigarette next to it. So Yeah, um, we've got a real one for the holiday let this year. I think it's important to do, mm. to get a tree for the, um, the holiday let. It's more suitable. Right, we've God got... knows when we're going to get it put up. So we've just taken another booking last minute, so yeah, I haven't got it up there yet. We've Sorry, I'm waffling. Got two more questions. So, who cooks the Christmas meal? Well, it's me, isn't it? Yeah, but <laughs> if 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 I wanted to do some this year, would you let me? Yeah, sure. But yeah, I usually prep in the days beforehand, like the stuffing and stuff, and got to remember to get that turkey out the freezer Gotta too. Gotta get that turkey. Frozen turkey every time. Yeah. It's yeah. too expensive getting fresh ones from the butchers. Yeah. I've been brought up with that. Nana Pat used to do that and it was like, Mwah. loved it. Well, that was one of my best parts of Christmas when I was little was the uh, turkey broth afterwards. Ew. <laughs> I know. Jen hated it. She... Rebecca yeah. cut off. I think she was appalled by the thought of it being made from bones. Well, it is grim. Oh, I don't mind. I really don't mind. Because well. that is the bones are still in the bird as you're baking it, or oh, yeah. roasting it rather. Meat in general is quite gross, really, when you think oh, about yeah, it. Oh, yeah, I don't think about it. Yeah. Final question Do you prefer giving or receiving Christmas gifts? Oh, giving, without a doubt. Um. I don't like paying for them, but I do like it when you know you've got something good that the person's going to really be thrilled with. Yeah. There's no better feeling. I would just say for me it's a bit of both. Mm. Cause I like presents. 
if somebody buys you a present sort of off the cuff yeah and the wallet's like oh i've got you something you're like oh and then you're opening it and stuff but the pressure's on what if you think it's crap <laughs> he's like mm. or i've already got one or uh, i've not had that yet no oh well i haven't to be fair apart from carol one year giving me money for my birthday but she put it in a, a jewelry box and we said before in other videos i can't bear jewelry at all it makes me feel gross and uh, i thought oh no she's bought me she's bought me a necklace I thought, oh no i'm gonna have to say something i'm not going with this at all and then took the lid off there's money in there i was like oh thank god <gasps> <Ooh>. <laughs> best present ever all the blood drained back into me again so <laughs> yeah she did that on purpose me Mm. Yeah, I was thinking that we could make another episode before Christmas, but I don't know if... Um, mm. I don't think we've got time. Yeah, or yeah. unless we just made one on Christmas Eve. Well, you tend to like vlogging around Christmas, don't you? Yeah, yeah. because I don't want these episodes to be too long because it takes me too long to edit them. Oh, you reckon I'm lazy? No, editing <laughs> takes ages. Mm. Um, it will take me about two hours to edit this video, which is a long time. Mm. Um, especially when my laptop gets hot, and that's discluding saving the video, oh, writing cool. all the description stuff, making the thumbnail, which takes ages as well, and actually uploading the video. Oh dear. I know. Why do you do it? it takes ages. I, I watched the last three um, podcast episodes back last week, and I found myself giggling throughout. <laughs> <laughs> they're quite funny uh, that's so bad laughing at yourself isn't it uh, i find myself very funny <laughs> that's really bad right mm. any final thoughts before we wrap this final episode up thoughts oh god i don't know i'm not going to ask the question uh, about what New Year's resolutions have no. you got? Because I can't be asked with it. I'm going to do New Year's resolutions after Christmas. Really? Oh. No, not do them, just talk about just, them on YouTube. Because yeah. I always make something, a video about it. Because I think it's just nice to do a video. Oh, to lose weight. That that's not, that's not me doing an impression of you. How if rude. I yeah. What? No. No, let's face it. If I was going to make a New Year's resolution, it would be to lose weight. <laughs> I, just, I just can't be bothered. <laughs> Food is fuel. Food is the enemy. I feel ill if I don't eat enough. Mm. My blood sugars dip right down and I feel all wobbly. Especially being menopausal age now. We will be back after Christmas. We can do an episode Every... about the menopause if anybody's interested. I can talk for hours about that. Yeah, let us know. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> Once every two weeks, we will be back doing different things. That's a lie. <laughs> no, if, if it depends because if I'm, I won't be working as much. But if I'm working every day, it's too. It's hard to film with mum because, um, obviously it has to be sort of light, like the lighting outside. Like, can you see it's dark? It's pitch black. Exactly. So it's not great lighting. So I do apologise. I think the lighting's very good actually. Yeah, but uh, you don't see how I see it. Oh. But yeah, it's not too bad actually. I'm happy with it. But anyway, thank you for watching. Short but snappy. Oh no, I've got loads. I did, I have got verbal diarrhea. Yeah. No. I, yeah. Well, uh, I, they've got to be short and snappy else people get bored. Oh, oh well. But thanks for watching. Stick around for more episodes. More eps. And we'll see you on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day if you want to see Mum in the videos. But Cooking. other than that, I have some other videos coming. Um, I have like a weekly vlog situation video thing um coming on monday so stay tuned oh am and i in my purple dressing gown on that my boots haul um and yes i think you might be shocker i purposely so. left that upstairs even though i put my pajamas on i've left the purple dressing gown upstairs because it clashes with my complexion <laughs> my eyeballs itchy right thanks for watching okay bye bye, bye. that's the end